That's a good question. I think the most likely thing, which doesn't mean it's the most certain thing, I think the most likely thing is that he's just not going to survive this hospitalization. That's a good question. Um, many people like your father that we've cared for, they just don't survive this illness. Yeah, what I'm very concerned about is, given the amount of oxygen that he requires in the mechanical ventilator, I mean, if his oxygen requirements continue to go up and up and up and the antibiotics don't kick in, given his age, given his medical history, there's certainly a possibility that ultimately we may get to the point where the mechanical ventilator is just not able to deliver the amount of oxygen required for him to keep his organs going. Uh, and these are things that we're not there yet. However, every single day I'm going to re be reassessing him. So I'm just really not concerned that he might not... Uh, we might not be able to deliver the amount of support necessary to keep his organs alive, and they may just continue to shut down. So, some of it is, and, and you know, in no way do we need to make any decisions today, but there is a likelihood that there is a significant possibility that we'll be in a place where we might have to make some tough conversations and make some tough decisions, okay? And some of that goes to, you know, our job, since he can't speak for himself and you're his next of kin, his closest family member, is to try to make the decision that he would make if he could speak for himself. And that's oftentimes hard because it's not always the decision that we want to make as the loved one, you know? My experience is we want to hold on, but the question isn't that. The question is, what would he want and would he want that? And some of that centers around what did he consider a quality of life?